and welcome to Musings of a Master Nee. Today I have two very special guests with me. I'll talk about them, but first let me tell you why we have this. The new academic year is just about to begin and thousands of children are going to join school for the first time. But what does this what does this mean for a parent, for a mother who is sending that bundle of joy to school for the first time? What happens then? How does the family react? What what undertake undergoes in those days and how do you really cope with it? To answer that we have two exemplary ladies with us today. Payal Shah of Balru Stott Atelier. She runs one of the most prestigious preschools of Ahmedabad and she has a campus to die for. And I have Pooja Nair Hello. of Genius Gems, one of the fastest growing preschools and a place that has made its name in a very short span of time. So, without wasting any time, let me start with this. Payal ma'am, first I'd yes. like to start with you. A nursery or a prep classroom is usually seen as a place with crying and wailing children and you know there are like bunch of children who are just doing that is that really what happens and is that the no is that perception correct of us yeah absolutely i would say um, june july and august these are the months for any preschool or a play school it's kind of a emotional power house so when you talk about um, crying wailing all those things yes because kids are going to be separated from their parents first time in their life okay. if you are talking about the age of 2 they are just leaving their parents first time in their life so mm-hmm. it is of course a separation anxiety and to deal with a separation separation anxiety is a big deal for a child okay at the age of 2 yeah it go soothes within the time of course okay. but yes that is an emotional parent okay so parents crying is a part of growing up don't panic coming from pile ma'am straight <laughs> to you okay uh pooja tell me what plans do you make so you given that you know that children are going to come in and there, there's going to be some bit of crying and stuff like that mm-hmm. so as teachers as a team how do you prepare for this like uh, on a war footing what do you do Yes. So, because as Payal Ma'am said, kids are coming out of their house, their comfort zones for the first time. Huh. The strategy which has worked for us is that uh, a process called home visits. Huh? So, uh, this process helps us to uh, go to the child's house, uh, understand how the child. Uh, tries to settle what are the likes what are the dislikes and okay. again when a child sees us in their comfort zone we are like known individuals to them so when they come back to school okay. they know that okay i had seen this person in school ah. and then i think that helps them to comfort and so then they can connect sure. with us so much better so it's not better. that they're going to re- going to a stranger's place yes. you know, so they, they know there us. is some yeah, we are known individuals to them okay yeah. right interesting but that's a good idea because yes. at least they are acquaintances quite okay with the uh, teachers also yes absolutely now uh for a toddler who is starting at 2 or 3 years of age hmm. this becomes a little too daunting and you know the child is just like right. uh, how do i really do this so what can we do to make this transition smoother any suggestions anything that so you believe we you can do so if you talk as a parent i would suggest uh, let them have the situation let them face the situation by themselves rather than very much explanation or a lot of things to say about the sender okay so all. just let it be let, let it, it happen be. let it happen let it flow okay. and let them take the uh, the whole situation by themselves um of course as a parent you also have a lot of anxiety and always i've seen that anxiety should not pass on to the kids okay so don't make it a havoc kind of a thing for the first day of the school that oh wow you're going to the so school so don't make it the event yeah, of their event life of sort of a so thing so it should not be so okay. eventful because for a child it might be a different situation uh-huh. when they start, sometime it happens that a child is very happily going understanding oh i'm going to some new place where we are going to have okay. fun this and that and thing but when they see the other kids crying uh-huh. they might feel that what is going on mm-hmm. and at this age they don't understand the emotional uh, kind of settling down of course, of course so this is going to be there so always i used to tell to tell to par- tell parents that please make it sure that you don't explain this and that things there okay. even don't show the rosy picture at the same time mm. that you are going to get the water play there this and that and all and then when the child comes to school and then he comes to know that there is a sand play and a drug play rather than a water play <laughs> he again starts crying you know so okay so uh, just to sum up i would say what she mentioned is don't build up too many expectations exactly don't show them a world where everything is spick and span and great and forever it is so it is not so it is life let it happen to them puja any different take that you would have what uh, do you have yes i think this suggestion is really yeah. great that you know not to build but if we being we if we have put up some expectation and if we are, we want to help our child to uh, you know make it a smooth tra- okay. transition there are few books that we can suggest so there is a book called the kissing hand oh. so it's again a uh, 
a situation where a child is you know uh, going through the similar the phase and how yes. that story helps so there are stories like the kissing hand uh-huh. we have first day jitters and we have lama lama misses the mama mama okay. so again the child might connect with the character in the story and they might understand that it is Got okay it. to feel what i am feeling right, and i right. it will fizzle out soon and yeah, i start same, enjoying where i am going exactly. so the same way we used to ask parents to send some you know bunny or some some soft, soft toys from yeah. home so he okay. has that feeling Connection. of somebody from home with hmm. him hmm. throughout the day yeah so, so that is also yeah. helps a lot so there that are various strategies that we work out which yes. sometimes includes books sometimes includes bunnies right <laughs> sometimes includes doing nothing <laughs> even so, sometimes you know the keys of the car Oh, yeah. you know that also helps a lot. Okay. So they bring the car key, and that mama is sitting outside, and the car key is with me. So, so the mama is not, not mama going is anywhere. The, yeah, so mama is not going anywhere. So he's feeling so much, you know, quiet. So then it's like, ha, I'm, okay. I'm safe. Okay, yeah. so comfortable great. about the whole thing. Well, oh, great suggestion. I guess parents make sure your extra key is there <laughs> with the child, and you keep it handy. Okay. Uh, a different one coming both of your mothers including me but you know when we leave our child at the doorstep of the school and if the child goes crying in our entire day is spent in that guilt because we believe that you know oh i've left that child crying that's the last image that we have of hmm. the child and then we believe that he's going to cry all day now main usko rota chhod kar aayi ab wo rota hi hoga is that what happens uh, in your not life? really all the time all the kids are not going to cry, cry for 3 hours continuously hmm. uh, point to be noted they do have on and off situations happening okay. so sometimes they have the constant uh, they say if they like some activity so for some time of uh, some, some span of time they are quite okay settle. they settle down they distract themselves and again they remember their mom and then they cry hmm. so it is not all the time it's not crying. like continuously, continuously there's wailing crying. yes okay yeah the uh, once the child is engaged they are absolutely fine and uh, it is you know, as mothers we need to be okay about the fact that you know this is something which yes. is happening and if the t- the teachers i think having the faith on teachers as well that you know my child will be taken care of, of course, i think okay. it helps uh, it boosts our confidence as teachers as well so okay the child is going to be fine so yeah, another right. nugget of wisdom have faith in teachers and usually no. uh, when we start our first um, first sessions it is going to be 45 minutes to 1 yes. hour session yeah. so it is not too much for a child to acquaint with okay. so that is all okay i mean dheere dheere they settle down very well hmm. yeah that brings me to my next very important uh, discussion what happens when the parents decide to take a break you know vacation pe jana hai ghar mein shaadi hai stuff like that or say the child has fallen ill i would say What? a big no okay <laughs> big <Same> no <laughs> <laughs> because it is very difficult for child to adjust after a break okay. because first of all he has to understand the routine huh. when you start a preschool or a, or a play group huh. the child has to understand the routine that 9 o'clock i have to go here go to the school take my bag wear my shoes where the dresses yeah, routines and you know, so matter the routine a, lot matters a lot to the children they yeah they even routine like, matters matters for the parents too as well mm, absolutely absolutely you know, so the whole thing is um haywired once you go for the uh, go for the outing or a uh, taking a break of course you can't uh, deny for those sick breaks but those are going to be the scene so that if you so ideally avoid any breaks absolutely. if you don't want to see your child cry again <laughs> and start the whole resettling process yes, from yes, the scratch yes. from the scratch from the anything you want to add to that i think it is similar because similar? Uh, if, there, if there is a family vacation or something or if even if their relatives at home they know that they are yes. enjoying at home and i don't want to be here <laughs> you know no, they oh, are that is a so annoyed so, to be in school and they want to be home ideally if possible call relatives during vacation time yes. right right <laughs> doesn't work in the indian setting but still um pal ma'am i remember when we were young school started at the age of say 5 uh, or i know of friends and family who started by 6 and you know, all that slowly the age came down to 4 3 2 nowadays the play, play group starts at 1.5 right so why has this taken place and uh, what is your take on this seminal uh, it is very much obvious that nowadays there are a lot of families who are nu- nuclear yes. when we were young i i remember that i have a uh, six or seven cousins in my home every day playing together every day doing things yeah. together and now when you say that there is only mom dad and a child maximum maximum grandparents and there is nobody else to play with huh. of course you are giving enough time as a parent to the child but the peer interaction also matters a lot Absolutely. for the social development in a different different senses Absolutely. so i always uh, see a good positive change for this age cut off but yeah two is the right age for a child for the separation okay. that i believe because the child is 
talking a lot i mean started speaking started expressing started um, uh, showing us the emotions that he is go- going through so he is able to take care of himself, himself. in the yes. structured environment yes, yes. Okay. Okay. so i always like this positive change i am very much for it you absolutely should. Yeah, in today's world, when both parents are working, hmm. uh, parents prefer that at home if there's a maid, hmm. the less of the time the child spends with the maid, and uh, say to us there is some creative thing the child is doing. So okay. that is the reason yes. I suppose parents Scale. prefer hmm. to send kids this early to school. School, yeah, so and they are at least in a sociable uh, social setup. environment. Yeah. Um, also, on this note, what I have observed is uh, the 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 amount of learning that children have during. Uh, during the school time is oh. immense but what happens is the parent last stepped into school when they passed out of grade 12 or something like of that course. so what i've seen is parents have that notion Image. of a school well i think pre school is exactly. today i would say we should ch- change the whole nomenclature of the school as a pre school or a yeah, play group yeah. <laughs> you know because play group is kind of a second home or a kind of park where learning happens, happens. together and so totally. it is not a school it mm. is a, so i usually never um, say that when a child comes to waleroos huh. i used to say yo ho oh, you came to waleroos so we never say oh welcome to the school okay so i don't prefer school as school i mean when school it is a play scary. Mm-hmm. at it times for and, yes. and it's so much more fun and there is yes. no academic level at the same and before 3 the child is not going to learn anything the writing stuff or alphabet or why they should they should shouldn't ideally they shouldn't so parents for those of you who are worried about you know oh, what will happen when my child goes to school this early <laughs> all that i suggest you visit her school her school and understand that this, the, the idea of schools that you probably carry in your head has changed has changed massively yes and until and unless you're able to visualize that you will always have this anxiety you will pass on your anxiety to the child right. more than anything else yes and lastly uh, any particular instance about a child or a parent that you would want to share with us or with our yes. parents saying that you know oh this also happens because like children we also learn out of examples so exactly. anything you want to um i really remember there is a there was a child when uh, at this session itself this is scholastic session when we started at june so the child was very much uh, having the anxiety of going inside the classroom kind of setup okay so it was all okay if we are sitting outside with him so an environment like this of this play like he is okay he is okay but whenever you start taking him inside the classroom he was Boom. very much he agitated okay. about the whole thing and he was like crying howling and everything the moment you take him out of the classroom he was all okay So I think very much my kind of a person being inside the nature <laughs> in the, all, around the trees and okay, all. So and the reason is ultimately uh, it took a bo- it took a month. In fact, it took a month to convince him that there is lot of things inside which is fun, which is uh, which is actually going to be enjoyable thing for you. Okay. And slowly, slowly, he has started coming near to my cabin and then uh, going into, into the classroom. The classroom. So okay. this really so happens. So the, the progress yeah, happens in bits and parts. Yeah, acquaintance, so right? uh, acquaintance take. time Take. and it is always different from it it is very from par- for a, from a child to child it is very i think much. parents who have more than one child they know this you know yes. every child is different and uh, <laughs> i think it I uh, finding a one size fits all yeah, solution can at this point of time i would always um, advise parent that never ever compare you know when they are um, gathering for picking pick up the child and all they talk about oh aapka bachcha to settle ho gaya <laughs> so you know every child has different pace to settle down okay. so i would always say that have patience have faith in us and of course the child is going to have this own pace we don't want to push the process sure. yeah any uh, instance any story yes so i had a child who was like okay when he was coming before the school started so all the interactions that we had before the school actually started the center actually started was he was absolutely fine okay. but the moment we actually started he was uh just not ready to come inside again and uh, we had to work with the child as well as the mother so <laughs> the way you said that the mother was uh, so guilty to leave the child here and I crying know, so know. we had to yeah it's a difficult task so we had him. a day when we were settling the child who was crying and the mother who was <laughs> crying to say okay it is okay know, you know, know. give him some time he'll be fine okay. and you need to be okay so It's like just leave him and go. The more you right. stay here, the more he'll be uh, feeling more emotional. There's more clinginess. So you that need developed. to leave him and go, just in case if he cries inconsolably, we will be calling you. We won't let him cry. So 
now i think the ch- child loves to come to school he even on so uh, holidays mother. he so wants to come mother. to school <laughs> yes <laughs> and yes so we have uh, have a wonderful relationship with the parent great. and the child Perfect. now great, and great. just like the two of you have experiences in our school i've seen there was this particular child i remember he was hardly two and a half when he started and the first day the first mm. day he walks in he walks in with a bag mm. and he waves at his mother bye to <laughs> jatir and we were all zapped and we were standing there like, Wow. See, that child has has the confidence. The confidence. Yes, so, the confidence. I think, as you rightly said, uh, that every that child is every different. Child is different. Yeah. So it was great speaking to both of you, ladies. Same Thank here. you Same so here. much. Mm-hmm. And parents, I hope this helps you and your child to tran- to help in helps in that transition and to settle down better. Thank you so much for listening to Musings of a Master Nee. And thank you for Thank coming you over. So Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> and I hope this is over. <laughs>